Hi, my name is Kristen Ross. I am a graduating student at the School of Architecture, formerly known as the School of Architecture at Taliesin. And my thesis project is a book called Spectral Radiance, Embodied Energy in Nature and Design. I'll read you the opening statement to give a overview of the, the concept behind the book. Embodied energy is an emergent metric for architects and designers seeking to understand the import of material choices and production practices in design. It involves a holistic calculation of all of the energy expended in a design's conception, construction, implementation, and ultimate deconstruction. This level of thorough macroscopic analysis is increasingly crucial as our construction practices proceed to shape the world far beyond the walls of the buildings we inhabit. Taken more broadly, energy is a transcendent concept that shapes virtually every aspect of our reality. It pervades the physical world, animates our bodies, and mediates perceived boundaries between the two. This primer is intended as a scientific and artistic glimpse into the multiplicity of these manifestations, an incomplete taxonomy of the many ways we can examine and interpret what it means for energy to embody physical form. So beginning with a study of embodied energy as a metric for evaluating architecture in the Anthropocene, um, I started to realize that it's a much more expansive and interesting concept when you think about all the different ways that energy is embodied. So I have broken the book up into five sections to sort of categorize different areas that I think are interesting in which to look at this concept, starting with uh, fundamental forces, the cosmos, the sun, the earth, the body, and the construct. So the forces include, as an example, electromagnetism, and this is a mock-up, so there's a little bit of a binding issue, but that'll be fixed. And the cosmos, looking at the energetic origins of the universe, as we understand them. And each section uh, looks at three or four concepts within each category. Looking at the sun, understanding how nuclear fusion works and how it ultimately makes its way to our earth and into our own bodies. And finally, the construct looks at the ways that humans have used technology to harness embodied energy as fuel sources. So based on the information collected by the United States Energy Information Administration, and that looks at how the US energy derives its fuel, um, the US energy system de derives its fuel. I've started with the most common and gone to the least and provided a sort of brief explanation analysis of what each fuel source is in relation to the concepts in the previous sections. So fossil fuels, of course, nuclear fission, wind, hydro, biomass, photovoltaics, and geothermal. And that's the final section. It's meant to be fun to read, informative, and looking at an opportunity to look at a concept that's often dry and punishing in a way that feels exciting and artistic and intellectually stimulating. So I hope that it does that, and I look forward to talking with you guys on Wednesday. Thank you.